Hey everybody, today Rado runs through Watergate. But before I begin, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that if I make rules goofs, you know what they are. And of course, I'm not Rado, I'm Shay Parker, helping Rado cover more games, and this isn't Rado either. This is Royal Gaviola. Royal, thank you so much for joining me today. So happy to be here, Shay. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So glad to have you, and uh, I want to I wanted to bring in Ruel, not just because he is a friend of mine and he lives in the LA area, so why not, but also because we are welcoming Ruel into the Rado family. Uh, you've got something exciting coming up. Why don't you tell people about it before we uh, jump in? Yeah, so next week, a Wednesday the 28th, I'm going to be joining Richard, and we're going to be talking games and a bunch of other good stuff on the r and show. That's Richard and Ruel. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. It looks like it's going to be really exciting. I'm excited about it, but I'm also excited to play Watergate, uh, which is what we've got right here in front of us. Now, Watergate is a great two-player uh, strategy game um, that is covering the uh, investigation into Nixon's misconduct regarding the Watergate Hotel. Um, you all have heard of it, I bet. And uh, in this game, one of us is going to be playing Nixon. That's going to be Ruel. And one of us is playing the investigative uh, journalists. And that's going to be me. Uh, so, Ruel, why don't you tell me what your goal in this game as Nixon is? Yeah. So, uh, Nixon, I want to keep all you pesky journalists off my back. I need to ride the momentum out and finish my term before y'all start, you know, connecting the dots, so yeah. to speak, um, behind some of the um, questionable deeds that my administration has been doing. <laughs> exactly. So one of the things that's going to be happening in this game is there's going to be kind of a tug of war. As you can see, there's this track here and uh, there are these two tokens. There's going to be some more tokens on this board as well. But uh, this white one is uh, regarding to the initiative and that's sort of like who gets to go first and has more cards. And the red one is momentum. And if you end each round, if you end a round with momentum on your side, then it gets placed on your card. If Nixon gets five uh, momentum, then he has finished his term as president without getting in trouble. And uh, and that is going to be a victory for uh, for Nixon. But as the uh, as the newspaper, I can get momentum as well, and I can get this. But unfortunately, that's not how I win. However, I do get some abilities if I get enough momentum. No, the way that I win is by connecting uh, evidence. Um, there are going to be evidence tokens drawn from this bag, and these will go on various spots on the evidence board here, which are relating to uh, tapes from Nixon's office, uh, money trails, and um, information about the Watergate complex. These can be placed in various locations based on the color, and if I can connect a line from Nixon to one of these, actually to two of the informants and secure their cooperation, then that will ensure the victory for me. Of course, Nixon can block these uh, informants and block the evidence. Yes. So we are going to be uh, juggling for that kind of stuff. Now, at the beginning of the game, um, each of us draws uh, a few cards, so I get to start with five cards because I have the initiative. Nixon gets four. Two, three, four, five. Four. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to be looking at my cards, but also uh, at the beginning of each round, Nixon gets to draw a few pieces of evidence uh, from the tiles, from the back. Mm -hmm. So while Ruel is doing that, he gets to, as the Nixon player, gets to look at what evidence is going to be on this track, but he puts it face down, so I don't know what we're going to see. Um, so he sees those, and those can be uh, solid colors, yellow, green, or blue. They can be uh, double uh, colors, and some of them have little um, initiative uh, bonuses, or not initiative, uh, momentum bonuses. And those are gonna be useful if we can collect them. Um, but because I have initiative, I get to go first. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at my hand of cards, and Every card is going to be either an event or, uh, for me, journalists, or for Nixon conspirators. And the events I can play for either their event section on the bottom here or for their value. And I can do the same thing with journalists, but events, if I use the event, then they are gone from the game for good. Whereas journalists will, no matter what I do with them, they're going to come back. Um, so I might want to use the value because then it just goes in the discard pile. We'll get them back eventually. So I'm looking at my cards and I'm trying to think of what do I want to do? Well, I know that I uh, want to have uh, some of these um, sources on my side. And I have a card here that will recruit John Dean uh, as an informant. So 
I'm just gonna start off, do kind of an easy um, first move of just starting off playing John Dean as an informant. So I'm playing this for its event, which means it's gone from the game, but I get to take John Dean down here because he's available and place him face up into one of the informant slots. So now my goal is to connect the evidence to Nixon. Uh, and on top of that, I get to uh, move the initiative token or the momentum token one step. Mm -hmm. Oh, John Dean, you rat. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to start. I know that Nixon wants momentum, so I'm just going to take that momentum and move it one closer to me. All right. Uh, so that's my turn. And pass it over to Nixon. Okay. Uh, Nixon, got. Um, there's going to be an event happening. We've got Operation Gemstone. And this Ooh. is, on the research track, a move the momentum token and two evidence tokens two spaces. Okay. So uh, momentum is going to go back towards me. Again, this is that tug of war that you're talking about. Exactly. And then I'm going to move two evidence tokens. Uh, is it two spots? Uh, yes, two two spots each. Okay. And as a Nexon player, I can look at these tokens anytime. Yes. So I will keep them secret. But now, as soon as you move them... They're going to... Yeah. Uh, yeah. As soon as you move them, as Jay was about to say, uh, as soon as I move them, they will be revealed. So... Um, this one will go one, two, and it is a one, mm. yellow. And then this one will also go, and there is the blue that that rat um, yeah. is looking at right now. So uh, this is both of these are pieces of evidence that I want because John Dean can go through blue or can go through yellow, can go through both if I want, uh, to connect back to Nixon. And if, uh, if Nixon gets them, that's gonna block off spaces. I could potentially get them back later in the game, but for now, it's a bit of a headache. So I want to get those back, but especially this one, because this has got this little red one that's going to be, uh, it's going to affect the momentum uh, tracker as soon as you place it. So luckily I have in my hand, I have some cards that have just, uh, you know, cards that I can play for their value to move yellow. This blue one, it's only a one, so it's not going to do too much for me. I could play it for its event though, um, which will push, uh, if I play this for its event, it'll push all of the evidence tokens back to the zero space. Uh, and then I can move one evidence token one step. So that might be good for me. Um, but I think actually I might want to hold on to it because I don't know what kind of tricks, uh, you know, Nixon's got up his sleeve. Uh, tricky dicky here. I was just going to say, he was known as Tricky Dick. <laughs> exactly. So. <laughs> so I'm going to play that a little closer to the vest and pretend that Ruel here didn't hear me say it. Didn't hear a word. Yeah. So I'm going to play uh, one of these cards. I'm going to play Deep Throat here, but I'm actually not going to play it for its event. I'm just going to play it for the value. Um, and so when you play for a value, I can take a yellow evidence or uh, any of the markers and move them two spaces towards me. So I'm gonna take that yellow evidence and push it back uh, to zero. Ah, nice. Now, if I wanted to move this one, I could ask Ruel, is there a yellow evidence uh, marker face down? And he would have to truthfully tell me. Right. And if there was, then I would have to move this one. Um, or if there was more, he would pick which one. Um, but if there wasn't, I would still get to move this face up yellow one or any of the markers. So it's not like I would have lost it, but uh, but yeah, so I've, I've played that for its value, which means I'm going to just put it in my discard pile and I will get that once I reshuffle my deck. All right. Cool. So I'm going to play another event. So my hand um, pretty much was full of events. So this is the cancer on the presidency. Ooh. And on the research track, I get to move an evidence token uh, three spots. Three steps, yeah. So we're going to go one, two, three. And now even though this is a green uh, on the top left, the event doesn't mm. specify the color. So you can move any uh, evidence token with yep. this event. Yes. And the downside of that, I am going to lose this card from my deck. So Because yes. I've used it for the event. It says remove from the game. <sighs> But there is, so there's two big things that are going to happen. Yeah. Why don't you go through what happens when we get to the end of the track? Okay, so I've reached the evidence. Now, do I do this uh, right now, Shay, or do we do you it? You do it immediately. immediately. As soon as it reaches uh, around uh, the end of a track, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, an evidence token or one of the markers, that happens immediately. Nice. So this evidence here, obviously it was um, some disputed evidence yes. uh, for my part from what we're talking about. So I get to place it anywhere and basically block exactly this rat from speaking anymore it has now been blocked he must go find a yellow um exactly token. now it is possible for me to flip this back up yep. but it's hard to do that so that is a big uh a big block uh right off the bat but here's the second thing that happens 
with this event. There's the second part down here. Yep. Then the round ends immediately. Just like that, folks. This is a huge play for Nixon right now <laughs> because, yes, these two evidence markers are on the center, so they're actually going to go back to the bag. Mm -hmm. um, but the momentum is on Nixon's side, so that's going to go to Nixon's track, one-fifth of the way to victory. And because the initiative is at zero, um, it is going to flip the initiative card, mm -hmm. um, which means I no longer have the initiative. The initiative is going to go to Nixon, so Nixon has the advantage on the next round. Yes. That was a, a big play, uh, not good for me. Uh, and then we discard all of our cards. Um, now these are going to go into our discard pile, so you know we'll get them back. But uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was a big deal. So we are on to the next round. Nixon gets to uh, draw five cards instead of four. I only get four cards, and I will go second because of the initiative. We're going to put this back here, and another red token goes out, and we're going to get three more. Uh, three more evidence tokens as well. All right. As we look at our cards. Yes. So um, the Nixon administration, we are going to secure the support. Well, of, before oh, we do that, we need to put out those evidence that's tokens. That's right. Yeah. Evidence tokens. Oh, yeah. So excited, folks. I forgot <laughs> yeah. all about this part. Okay. So I take three evidence tokens. I'm going to look at them. Yeah. And again, I can look at these at any time during the turn. Um, mm -hmm. But I'll put those right here at the zero spot. Okay, so some new evidence coming up. Um, we'll see if those pesky journalists can <laughs> find out what's happening. Um, but in the meantime, the administ Nixon administration, we are going to secure the support of Alfred Baldwin. All right. Okay. So Alfred Baldwin, uh, both of us have these kinds of cards where we secure the support of one of the informants. But for Nixon, when those are played, take the uh, Alfred Baldwin here and flip him over. So now Baldwin, now I cannot recruit Baldwin. Uh, and as always, there's a little bonus here, which I think says you get to move initiative or momentum one step. Okay. Uh, both or? or uh, one of them. Okay, yeah. we're moving momentum. We'll Makes up sense. Momentum side. All right. So I have, I have another uh, recruit as an informant card here. Um, and this is Rosemary Woods, which would be down here. It's on the complete opposite side of John Dean, which means that it might not be the the informant that I want to go with. There's a whole bunch of others, and I know I've got more cards in my deck. So maybe it's better for me to uh, use this as for its value, which is three, which is pretty good. I think the highest value is four uh, on these cards. They go from one to four. Now, I don't need green evidence, so if I'm going to do this, I might say I'm going to play Rosemary Woods for uh, the value here. Now, I could look for green, but again, I don't really want that, so I'm going to move a token. And... Now I'm wondering, do I want to move this momentum or do I want to start focusing on initiative? Because I am in a bit of a tough spot with fewer cards, so I want to secure a better position in the next round. But if I don't move this, I know that there are cards with four value. Yep. And if he's got those, then he can just scoot it all the way to the end. And if he does that, that's another spot uh, on Nixon's card, but it also means that I can kind of focus on other things and maybe get um, a different kind of advantage. And so I'm going to risk it. I'm going to pay, use that three value, uh, and I'm going to move the initiative three spaces in uh, my direction. Nice. And I'll pass it to you. All right. So on my turn, um, I've got a couple of options here. I can either play an event or I can um, play one of the numbers to move that momentum over you. It's like you read my mind, yeah. Jay. It, it really <laughs> is. You read my mind here. Yep. I'm going to play... Uh, the four here um, to move the momentum token. So we're not doing the event here. Uh, we're just using the four. And like you said, moving that one, two, three, four, five, or two, three, four, five, yep. and immediately gets played. Now there is a timing aspect to how the um, uh, evidence is put out at the end of the round, but when you get to the end, it happens immediately. So that was a good play, but it also means that that's something I don't need to worry about for the rest of the round. That's right. He definitely got a, a good um, good advantage there, but I could do the same thing. I've got some cards with, you know, well, higher than two uh, value here, so I could just push it all the way. Yep. But maybe let's take a look at some of my events to see if there's anything that could be a little bit sneakier, maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit more interesting uh, for me. So I've got, let's see, I've got... This guy here, which is a great card, but early in the game, not as useful. This is 
one of the cards already removed and play it uh, as an event again. But the only card that I've removed is the one that got me John Dean here. So that's not super useful. I could play follow the money, but this is actually a reaction. I would play this um, as uh, a reaction to uh, Nixon using the value part of a card to move an evidence token. Mm. It's a very good play, but it also means that I need to keep it in my hand um, in order to, to use it for its uh, event. And lastly, I can play the Pentagon Papers. This event is draw an evidence token from the bag and pin it face up to the evidence board. So Ooh. I could play that and immediately just bypass any of this, draw a tile, and put it somewhere. But I don't know where I want to put anything. If I got a yellow one, that would be great. I could put it here and start moving uh, John Dean out. But there's a whole bunch of other colors that might be a little bit less useful for me. So actually, even though I was hoping to get something a little bit more exciting, I'm just gonna play, um, I'm gonna play the, oh, huh. Uh-oh. I could play the Pentagon Papers, get one evidence token from the bag, do that, remove this from the game, and then play the System Works, which lets me do one of my events that I've already removed and do it again. Nice. I'm gonna do that. Okay. So I'm starting by playing the Pentagon Papers, using it for its event, so drawing an evidence token and just adding it face up to the uh, bag. So let me reach in here and pull one, and it's gonna be okay, let's see what... a yellow and a green. Oh, this nice. is exactly what I wanted. Very nice. So I'm gonna put that out there, and that's the end of my turn. I know I was saying there's another thing I want to do, but that's going to be on a future turn. So this is where I'm at right now. Okay. Now I've got a couple of options here. I I can keep keep some of these uh, people from talking, but I do have an event here that is going to affect um, you, Shay. Okay. It is a brilliant mood. This is an event, and I'll let you um, share what that does. So uh, <laughs> this is something that Nixon can't play on the first uh, round, but or first turn of a round, but. Playing this for event means I can no longer play events. Uh, I can still play event cards, but I have to use their value. Mm -hmm. um, so you're playing uh, a brilliant mood, yep. and it doesn't move anything on the track. It just means that I I had that cool plan that I was going to do. Uh, it's like Ruel read my mind. I don't know how he did it, <laughs> but he figured out my plan. So I can't do that, but it's okay. I already got some good value here. Um, and now... I think I'm going to play, I'm gonna play the system works, but I'm actually just gonna play it for its value. Mm -hmm. I've, I've got a pretty good lead on this initiative tracker, so I'm gonna ask Ruel, are there any yellow evidence tokens? Um, and I get to look here, and I believe there is one, and there it is. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So if there were multiple, Nixon could choose which one gets moved. Yeah. And that might be important because, you know, some of them, like we saw in the last round, have that little extra um, little extra one. bonus. Yep, the, that's right. So I've played this for its value because I can't play it for its event. <laughs> um, and turn passes to Nixon. Okay. Uh, Nixon is going to start um, shutting down some of these informants. So we are going mm. to secure the support of Alexander Butterfield. All right. That's Butterfield on the corner here. Now, this is a big one because... Uh, as you can see, like it could be used for four value. Mm -hmm. And so this event is gone, which means that that four value is not going to be coming back. But as playing it for the events, not only have we blocked off Butterfield here, but they're going to be able to move the initiative token two steps instead of one. Yep. So um, there it is. One, two. Getting a little closer there. Exactly. And because that's so much closer, I think I need to... I just have this one last card to play. I can't play it for its event. Um, so I'm going to play it for its value. And I could try and get an evidence marker um, if there's a blue one, but I don't know if there's a blue one. Of course, if I can, if I can get a blue evidence. Maybe I could put it there. That would be pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, but then that kind of leaves this yellow one vulnerable, and and that could be blocked there. So I don't know if I want to put the blue one out yet. I think I'm just gonna use this to move the initiative tracker one, two, three. Nice. Yep. And Nixon has the last round. Okay. What are you going to do? Uh, so I've got a choice. I can either secure the support of our friend Martha Mitchell, so I would block this off, or I can use the four <sighs> in order to move that yellow token back. Well, right? the, or I could move the initiative, right? Because this event has a blue, oh, that's right. has blue evidence, unfortunately, it cannot be used yes. uh, for this yellow token. But if there was some blue evidence here, you could move it. Right. Um, so, um, hmm, that's interesting. So, 
Is there a blue one? Again, I need to look here. I can figure out if I do have... Okay, there is a blue one. So I could block off this. Now, I'll be taking the last turn, so this is a big uh, big moment. I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to secure the support of Martha Mitchell. All right. All right, so Martha, you will keep your mouth shut. Okay. <laughs> so this gets removed. Now, one thing that's been happening is uh, Ruel has been dropping some of these high value events. I'm just showing off his mm -hmm. uh, used event cards. Now there's like a four, four, three, a two. And uh, when we are going to be reshuffling the deck, because there's not that many cards, uh, that means that there's going to be a lot more lower value cards in the deck. Um, not to say that what he's doing is a bad play because he's blocking off my informant and that's how I win, so I need those. But because I've been a little bit more stingy with uh, my events, I know I will have higher value cards still in my deck. Yep. But anyway, that is the end of the round. Uh, so these uh, tokens that are on the zero space, they are going to go back to the bag. I get to the initiative, so I take this, flip it around, and because I have the initiative, I mean, it doesn't matter because I'm the only one who uh, has evidence now, but I have this evidence. I can play it. I'll put it right there. So now I, if I can just get a blue or a yellow, put it there and connect it uh, to Nixon. So that will be a, a good thing for me if I can pull it off uh, soon. So um, close. Get so, so close right there. Yeah, but I need to get more informants because yeah. the, they are running out. Um, and I'm pretty sure I already discarded Rosemary Woods here, mm -hmm. which means... I just have Hugh Sloan and James McCord, uh, which are here and here, not conducive to synergy. Mm -hmm. um, Rose did a good job blocking me. But uh, now we're going to move on to the next round. Okay. Okay. Um, Put some fresh new evidence out there. All right. And because I have the initiative, I'm drawing five cards. Royal is drawing four. And let's see what we got. So I have drawn uh, this card. Actually, I bet I have more than one. Yeah, I've got two of these guys here. I have Recruit Alexander Butterfield and Martha Mitchell. Now, I cannot use these events uh, as events because both of them are already um, blocked off from me. However, they are both very high value. So those are going to be pretty useful for me. But I finally have... <laughs> I have another journalist, but this is another uh, reaction. So we'll see... Um, if I get to use this, I think it'll be fun if it comes up. And uh, let's see. Um, I'm trying to figure out if there's any good events uh, that I can play. Not at the moment. I've got I've got some reactions. Maybe they'll come up. But I'm going to start with uh, Martha Mitchell. Now Martha Mitchell here again can't use the event, but. This is a blue evidence, and I know I want blue evidence. Nice. So I'm going to say, Nixon, is there a blue evidence token I on this track? I believe there is. Let's see if we have one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there is your blue token. All right. So I get to move it one, two, three, four spaces Ooh. towards me. Very close to me. I'm liking that. Uh, and we'll see how the rest of the round goes. Okay. So it looks like you're on the track to connecting... This guy with the big mouth to um, our dear president, um, but we will see what happens. Yeah. Um, I am going to do... All right. We're going to do this event. A third-rate burglary attempt. Third-rate burglary yes. attempt. Uh, so are you using this for the event? Uh, the event. That is correct. All right. So it says, on the research track, move one evidence token back to the zero space and momentum token to the one space on your side. Okay. Hold on. Now, do there. you have a reaction? I... Oh, you know what? I do, oh. but they don't work for this specifically. Oh. Uh, okay. I have a different kind of reaction. Uh, I was hoping to be able to block this event, but it's not how my cards work. Okay. Um, so this is just going to go through on the research track. One research, one evidence token goes back to zero. Yes. Which is all the way back to zero track, which is unfortunate for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, the momentum token goes to the one space. All right. Whew. Okay, All I'm that not. All work that you know, <laughs> yeah. your journalists are doing. <laughs> um, all right, all right. What am I going to do here? Uh, let's see. Well, you know what? I can't let Nixon get more momentum, so I'm going to use my Andrew Butterfield again for its value, four value, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Um, let's see, you've got one, two, three, you've got one informant, um, one squealer available. Yep. What I'm going to do now is, ooh, do I want that one? No. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Oh, this is so good. 
Um, I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm not going to use the event. I'm going to use the number, uh, okay. three. And so I'm going to move a blue or yellow token, um, or a blue, oh, blue sorry, token. Sorry. Not mine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, blue evidence token, three steps. So one, two, and three. So that's not good for me, but I mean, could that, could, that could block either of these spaces. Mm -hmm. But again, I, I also can use either of those spaces if they come up. Um, now, I've got a few cards, and I would love to use all of them for their events, <laughs> but I can't. Um, so I'm going to just start with, uh, yeah, so this is not going to be useful for me for that, but I can play uh, journalist Ben Bradley. Now, again, I'm going to show you what this reaction is because I wish I could play it. Um, if Nixon plays a conspirator, then I can play this as a reaction and block the conspirator and remove the conspirator from the game. Ooh. Uh, and then, um, but then Nixon gets to go again. Um, so that would be a really good block. Can't use it because he hasn't played a conspirator yet. Um, so I'm just going to use it for its value. I'm not going to move evidence because uh, it's only going to move two, and this is on the three space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the momentum one, two, gets it to the end, nice. and I get to place it. At the very least, I am confident that Nixon won't get another momentum this round. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so I'm going to use this card here. It's uh, not an event. I'm going to use it for the uh, value, a okay. two. So two value. Yep. So, uh, so you're just going to get your evidence all the way to the end. There it is. All okay. right. And we are going to block. Um, let's see. Now I can look at these again. And see yes, what you can. We do here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to block right there. Okay. All right. Down to my last card. So you've got two more. I've got one more. I do. I have, uh, I've got this uh, mass demonstration. Now this is an event, but it basically has the same ability as my journalist, Ben Bradley. Mm -hmm. So again, because I haven't, uh, Ro hasn't played any conspirators, I have not been able to use this. So I'm just going to use it for its value. I could move the initiative, but I'm actually... Uh, interested to see if there's any green evidence. Okay, so you show a green, and there is a green one Ooh, with a one. The green with a one. So that's nice. pretty cool. Yeah. I uh, have this now on my side. Okay. Um, I was hoping you'd play that um, event because I do have a reactionary, a conspirator, John hmm. Mitchell. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to use, let's see, the two for either a yellow, if there is a yellow, or a... Um, Move that initiative, initiative forward, token. Yeah. I want that initiative token. So we're going to go one, two. All right. I want that extra card, and I want to go to first. Um, mm -hmm. And actually, that goes back. To yeah, that's Conspirator. All right. That's the end of my turn. we yeah. got one last uh, move here. So I've got this event here. Now, there are a few things that I could do with this. One, obviously, I can play the two uh, value, but that won't get the uh, initiative far enough to be useful for me because it'll get it back to zero. And because I have the initiative, that means it'll just switch anyway. Mm -hmm. So no point in doing it for that. I've got the event, which is pretty good, or it would be if this wasn't, you know, the last round of the game um, or the last round of this turn, um, last turn of this round. <laughs> words are hard, folks. <laughs> Yay, words. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this allows me to take a face up green evidence token and place it on uh, the evidence board uh, immediately. But... If I were to play that right now, one, I don't need to because I know that I'm going to get this. But also, if I were to place it right now, that means that that one would be wasted um, because uh, of how the timing works. And I'll show you um, how that works in just a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to play it for its value. And I'm going to ask Nixon, is there a face down green evidence marker. And I'll check here, there is not. Okay, so because there is not, I can either move this green or this initiative marker. Neither one really is gonna make uh, much of a difference, so I'll move that forward. Mm -hmm. So now let's like actually go through this in uh, in order because it, uh, it matters a little bit now. Uh, first, we return this to the bag. Okay. Then uh, we're going to award this round's initiative token. That goes to Nixon, so we flip that over, mm -hmm. award the momentum token, we already did that, then place uh, the initiative token and a new momentum on the board, and now I can place the evidence tokens. If uh, there was evidence tokens on Nixon's side, those would get placed first, but because there aren't, it's just to me, and I will place this wherever I want. Well, Sloan uh, is the obvious choice, I think, so I'm going to place that up here, and 
with this red uh, one, that means I can take this momentum and move it to my side. Uh, one spe step. And now we go into a new round. All right. Um, and we draw some new yeah. evidence. Um, Let's two, journalists are three, always four. looking for evidence, folks. Okay. <sighs> we got to keep trying. <laughs> things are things are looking okay. I would say right now, I wouldn't. I don't know if we're tied, but I do say I do think we are near each other. I think yeah. you have a bit of an edge in at the moment. Yeah, only because it seems like because I was able to shut down some of your informants. Exactly. But you already hit, you're you're going to get this one connected. Mm -hmm. So I've got to be really careful about. Who else shows up to um, start talking? Yeah. And so I get five this time. And ooh, 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 ooh. So yeah, this is definitely the part of the game like when it really matters, like what can I get? What can I pump out of my cards yeah. to really get the most value? That's right. Um, at the beginning, you're kind of just probing. You know, you're just playing some uh, some tokens, getting some things on the board. Yeah. Mid-game is really when you start to focus down. That's right. Um, I'm going to go with, oh, gosh. This is where it gets interesting. Do I want to do this? Oh, my gosh. Okay. I am going to go with... So I so Nixon, we really want the momentum on our... We, we need to ride out these next rough four years, <laughs> you know, with the journalists on our... Nipping at our... Uh, Heels here. I'm going to move. Oh, my goodness. Do I do it? I am going to do it. Do I'm going to use the three to move that momentum over to my side. So this is Rosemary Woods, uh, but you're not using it for its event. You're just using it for the value. Correct. All right. So Rosemary will go into my discard pile and we'll move that momentum three spaces. One, two, three. All right. Well, I definitely, you know, that's a threatening position. I know that it's going to be decently easy to uh, push to the five space. So I'm gonna play the smoking gun. Oh. This is, I think, a really big event because it's going to hit a number of different things on this track. So as you can see, I move the initiative token two steps, I move the momentum token two steps, and I get to pick one face down evidence token and move that one step. Uh, but oh whenever you move face down, they get flipped face up. So I'm gonna pick this one on the left. Okay. And that is a blue one with momentum. Oh, that's a big deal for me. That's a huge one, friends. Okay. So, ooh, ooh, I would love to get that one. I could finish up that evidence space. And now there's a lot of things that uh, Nixon needs to worry about. Mm -hmm. So we're going to call on the help of our conspirator friend here, John Ehrlichman. Uh, so I'll let you... So one cool thing here is this shows all the different colors. So this can move any evidence. Um, mm -hmm. But are you using it for its value or for the conspirator? For the conspirator. All right. A couple of things happening here. Yeah. Let's slide it over. Mm -hmm. So uh, it says on the research track, move the initiative token. And oh, this is the exact same thing <laughs> right. I just did. You copycat. <laughs> Taking all the good ideas from the press. <laughs> so, as you can see, yeah, it moves uh, this up two, this up two, but then you have to move a face down one. Right? Uh, I think it's removed from the game, though. No? Oh, yeah, remove a face down. Oh, so it's a little different. Yeah. I guess this is a little bit more Nixon y. Right. Uh, I'm going to remove. Okay, so that one's going to So, go. whichever one would get uh, removed, I wouldn't get to know what it was, but let's show yeah. uh, what it is and. So this is a bl another blue one with momentum. So that makes sense why you're totally. why you would remove that. Yeah. But it's conspirator, so it goes back in your discard pile. All right. Okay. Yeah, it now, was funny that you played that card. Yeah. I, like, I had that one ready to go. Yeah, oh, exactly. Okay, copycat. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. I think I'm going to do another. Uh, what I hope is a big play. It, but this is a sacrifice. What I'm about to do. Oh. I've got that. Uh, that token is in scoring position, I would say. But I want everything else. So I'm going to play the Watergate Complex for its event. This moves the initiative token three steps. So one, two, three. It moves a face up evidence token two steps. One, two. And a face down token one step. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is a juicy track yes. right now. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, now Nixon can get that momentum, but there's so much that I uh, can potentially get on my turn. Yeah. So and that's what, what's really cool about this game. There's a yeah. lot of give and take. Yeah. Those decisions. Uh, do I want all this stuff or do I want that thing? 
It's oh. like you're playing five tug of wars at yes. once, and yes. yeah, you really need to pick your battles. Okay. Um, okay. In that case, I'm going to call on another conspirator, Howard Hunt. Um, Where were all these conspirators when I was able to block them? <laughs> right. <laughs> because I would have loved that Absolutely. personally. So Howard Hunt. This one's cool. Yeah. On the re- uh, research track, move the momentum token two steps. So close. Yeah. Then draw one card from your draw deck and play it immediately choosing yep. the value. Okay. So uh, so now, no matter what you get, you can get the momentum, That's that right. last step of the way. Yep. But let's see what you get. Uh, it is a two. Uh, so this is, ooh, uh, securing the support of John Dean. But I already have John Dean. But you have to play it for its value anyway, right? Yep. Yeah. So doesn't matter with this. That's actually a great one to draw in this case because wouldn't have been able to play it for its event anyway. Mm-hmm. So what are you going to do with this value here? You're going to get that last? Yep, there Makes it is. Makes sense. Two away, friends. Oh, We're so close. Just the pressure is definitely on for me. Yeah. Um, so let's see what I can do. I... <sighs> okay, so I've got this guy here, Alec Ball... Alfred Baldwin, not Alec Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if Alec Baldwin was in this game, that would be a different... Uh, <laughs> Different thing. He might be in the movie adaptation. Um, so I could move a yellow Evans three spaces, get it uh, from one to four, pretty close to me. But I know that Nixon does have some some tricky events, so it's not. I can never really be sure that it's safe. But then I would also get to move the initiative. Or no, uh, if I was doing it for an event, I'd be able to get the initiative. But I can't because Baldwin's already picked. So I need to pick one thing. I could secure the initiative if I wanted to, um, or. I could play this, but hmm, you know what? I'm gonna play my other card for its event because I need more informants and Hugh Sloan is still available. So I'm gonna play this even though I could get this blue evidence immediately. I'm uh, gonna make the sacrifice getting Hugh Sloan on my team because I need more informants. Um, So I place the token there. This is gonna go into my permanent discard, but I will still get to move uh, initiative or momentum one step, which means I get closer with the initiative. At least I can feel a little bit safer about that. Safer, not safe. <laughs> uh, so what do you got? Yeah, so um, yeah, I'm pretty much going to give up on that initiative. Um, but I do have yet another conspirator. Shay, I, I'm sorry. I don't know All what happened conspirators, to this yeah. yeah. Uh, they're coming out. Uh, our friend Gordon Liddy is going to remove a face-up no! evidence token. And I believe we know which one we're going to remove, the blue one. Of course. Yes. It goes back to the bag. Yeah. And it's going to make the journalist's job a little tougher. Yeah. Uh, Now, yeah, that is uh, definitely a big play. I just have my one card left, and I'm definitely going to use it to move the yellow evidence three spaces. It's not the one that I wanted, but if I can get it, and fingers crossed, uh, it will at least help me a little bit in the next round. Yep. And my final card is yet another conspirator, but unfortunately it doesn't do me any good. It's uh, one uh, movement, and there's other things you could do, but it's not going to help. So there, boom, goes back to my Yeah, there you go. That's what it feels like. (laughs) Uh, So Nixon got rid of a lot of evidence, like Nixon does. and uh, But I still am going to get the initiative, so move that over. And I'm going to get the... Yellow evidence. Now, I'm trying to figure out what a good place to put it is. I think it makes the most sense to place it here because McCord and Woods are still on the table and this could connect to either of them. Um, it also does give me that little bit of momentum. Yep. Um, so that was a pretty big play. Uh, all right. And then we've got our initiative. So now we are both at the end of our deck. Uh, so we are going to have to shuffle uh, our discard pile, but not any of the cards we've permanently removed. Um, and we are going to draw up the rest of our hand. Mm-hmm. So this is why, you know, removing uh, low value events early on can be pretty useful. Um, yeah, and I I removed some big numbers from mine, yeah. so we're going to see if this plan is going to work to keep a uh, tricky dick in yeah. office. Now I will say, because uh, Nixon has reached the end of their deck and hasn't played one specific card, <laughs> I know that the initiative or the momentum token is in danger because they have a card which I think just immediately pushes it to the five space. Yeah, you know exactly what yeah. I'm, uh, I'm it's called. Yep. It's called Gambit. Yep. And it does have a cost, but it's extremely powerful. 
So because I have the first turn, even though there are better things that I can do, I'm gonna take Martha Mitchell here. Uh, she's got that four value. And because she has been blocked off, I don't even feel any guilt about using her this way. I'm going to discard her for her value and just immediately move it to my side. Well done. I don't want to deal with that, yep. uh, with the gambit that I know would be coming because at the end of the deck, it hadn't been played. I know he has it. Yep. That was a well done. Well done. And it's, I, I haven't played this game that much. I've definitely played a few times. I don't have all the cards memorized, but that one, the first <laughs> time it gets played, you remember it forever. <laughs> totally. And that's probably the one card I remember with this game is the gamut. Like yeah. that's going to get you that red token, the momentum token, just like that. I actually did have that card on the very first turn of the game. Oh, you did? I did, and I was like, I'm going to wait. I'm going to Okay. Yeah, so. I guess I just missed it. Maybe yeah. You... Oh, well, what happened was I had to use it for its. That's uh, right. Yeah, because I wanted to yeah, save yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to block off. Um, who's left out here? Is you McCord out there? McCord and Mary Woods. Okay, McCord needs to be quiet. I'm going to play this event. <sighs> so, again, as always, taking McCord because he's still available. Blocking him off. This really hurts because, and I, I was so sure because I, I, I guess I didn't count cards right. But again, because the deck was shuffled, it's a possibility that it was going to come up. Um, and you know, getting the momentum still good. But I had James McCord. Yes. I could have, yes. and that was such a good spot to be. Now, yeah. I'm going to show you one thing though. Um, actually, do I have? Aha! Never mind. I'm going to play a card for its event, which is one that I played for its value early on. I'm gonna play Deep Throat because I could be sad about what just happened mm. or I could remove one face down picture tile from the informant space and return it to the potential uh, informant supply and move the initiative token three steps. Wow, that's a good one. So I'm gonna take McCord there and say, I know you thought you had him in your pocket, <laughs> but he's still on the board. Okay. And go one, two, three. All right. Now, um, wow, that that's that definitely messes with my plans. But what I'm going to do next, uh, since you have a few cards left, I'm going to play mm -hmm. my conspirator Chuck Colson, and right. this is going to affect uh, Shay's hand. Whoa, the journalist. Poof. So I need to discard one random card from my hand again. Y'all know there's one card that I don't want to discard. <laughs> Come on. So let's see how that goes. So discard that. Would you grab one of those? Right there. Middle one. Come on. Nope. Uh, although I did want this one. This is a journalist with rainbow uh, evidence. Um, and it would allow me to take any evidence on the track and move it wherever it is to the zero space, which would be pretty important if it was pretty far down. But the way that we've been playing, well, hasn't been pushing uh, evidence that hard. So I'm kind of okay with, with losing that one. Right. Um, okay. But it goes to me. Um, let's see. Oh, it's my turn again. Oh, then it's your turn again. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. Um, speaking of evidence, I've got to play... Oh, let me take another look here again. Right. I can look... Nixon can look at any time. Um, this is going to help you out, actually. I'm fine with that. Yeah, okay. I'm going to play a conspirator, uh, Bob Handelman. All right. Uh, on the research track, move each evidence token one step. That doesn't mean they get revealed, um, but they are all going to be pushed up uh, one space. So let's see what they are. Bap, bap. Oh boy. Yep. Those are some juicy targets, but none of them are blue. Yep. Now that's really good for me to know, uh, but it's also a little bit tricky. However, I have the Rosemary Stretch. I'm going to play this for its event. I can immediately just take one green evidence token from the research track and pin it to the evidence oh, board. Oh, rosy. Yeah. Oh. So I've got this. And now because there is this green one or this yellow and green one, which also counts, I can take either of these and pin it. I think, ooh, that green one makes sense because it'll just be one away yep. from Hugh Sloan over there. So, And I'll be blocking off uh, a momentum. So I'm going to put that there. Now, nice. I don't get any momentum because we've already removed the momentum token, mm -hmm. uh, but at the very least, I will stop uh, Nixon from getting it next turn. Um, oh, so close. Uh, so, Rosemary, you did good. <laughs> you done good, Rosie. Oof. 
This is that, this is quite a round. It, it really is. We've had some, yeah. and that's what the game is like. It's a lot of big swings, yeah. a lot of big turns. Um, I've got my final card here. I'm going to play Conspirator Gordon Liddy. Uh, so I'm going to remove a face-up token. Okay. Return it to the bag. So, so which one would you like to remove? Yeah. So I'm trying to see what you're. We're going here. We've got this one's going to be connected by a blue, obviously yeah. to Nixon, and then you're. You can get McCord or Woods back out there. Got yeah. yellow. i uh, tell you what. I'm going to take off the yellow one only because it has the one on it. I, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, well, actually, you already had the momentum, right? What was that? Uh, oh, the, I already had the momentum, but that will the be... next round. Yeah. Because okay. of the timing of it, that would happen next round. That's and right. that makes sense because uh, if you're not playing uh, to move the evidence, then it makes sense to stop me from getting it, which is great because I've got James McCord here and... Now I can use this to get this evidence over here um, and that will potentially get, I can place that here, but that's not valuable unless I have McCord on my side. So I'm gonna play this for its event, get McCord on my side, bring him up here. And also it lets me move the uh, uh, in initiative two spaces, which cool, you know, I get that. Definitely gonna have the initiative, but it does mean at the end of the round, we've removed everything but one evidence. You right. get to place that yes. uh, face down wherever you like. And now I feel like it kind of makes sense to try and block off yeah. the cord here. You got to just uh, make them work. So we'll go yeah. right here. I can go the long way. So that was a really big turn. I'd say we probably have two, maybe three more rounds left in the game. But I think this is a good place to stop. I think you've gotten a pretty great idea of how Watergate is played. Um, and now, I don't know about you. Do you want to keep playing this? I think we should. Let's see what happens I in think, the battle. Here. Yeah, we want to finish off this game. We're having a lot of fun. So uh, we are going to have a, an extended gameplay uh, video. You can uh, check. There's a link in the description below um, to check that out or see how this game actually turns out. But if you want to skip right to the final thoughts, you can click that link in the top right corner uh, or in the show notes below. And we will see you folks there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.